Hey guys, it's Lauren with the Bye Bye Site. And if you need help with any writing tips or help refilling your creative well, you come to the right place as I am a blind author. And today's video, dun, 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 I'm offering you guys a writer's kit. Oh. Ah. So if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future videos and live streams. And if you're a returning guest, welcome back to the channel. So as I said, this is going to be a writer's kit for those that are blind and visually impaired. And all the items I either found on Amazon, MaxiAids.com, or Accessibility.org. And... All the links will be in the description. So the first item are accessible utensils that you would use for writing. A low vision mechanical pencil. Yeah, I wish I went down stool. Yeah, I was looking at the detail for it and it seems like it's a much darker graphite that they use for the pencil. So it would be like you know, if you're using a regular mechanical pencil, you have to press really, really hard and make it really dark and then you break it. That's how dark I think the lead would be in that pencil, which would be nice. The next one is a Uniball gel ink pen. And I didn't know that was a brand, but do you hear pens that mean if you like to find <laughs> school and take them? It has a very dark ink that won't bleed through the paper. I don't say steal, we just borrow and return. <laughs> but it's nice because it's like a quick retract retractable type pen. That's how you know if it's working, like if you have it on or not. Because if you leave it on and you put it in your pa pocket, it'll explode. Yeah, that's my only worry is that it has happened to me a few times in school if it's exploding in my bag. So I would warn that where you keep it, not to like keep toe pads. Because that would make some explode in the bag as well. And the last item is similar to a 2020 pen and it's called a Bold Line VA Marker. And it's kind of like the gel pen itself where it creates a high contrast, but the way that you write with it makes you, makes you reminder of a Sharpie marker. But it doesn't bleed through. So to tie in two things to write with, you're going to need something to write on. Now, some people prefer to use a keyboard or a tablet or their phone, which is fine. Or a typewriter. Ooh. But what? I've seen some people use on videos. I know. I don't even know where you go to have buy a typewriter. <laughs> like eBay. Well, I mean, that's accessible. But some people still prefer to write on paper. And a way to make this accessible is rarely I found regular line notebook papers that have a darker line to produce a higher contrast on the paper. But you can actually purchase bold line paper and they even have bold line paper notebooks. So they have sheets of the bold line paper in a spiral notebook because trying to carry a big thick pad <laughs> A uh, wall line paper can make your bag heavy. I've done it. Not like that, but it's hard to keep it from day all wrinkled and torn up in your bag too. Well, if you have a notebook for like ideas or journaling, you have every all your pages organized and kept together because the pads just have, it's bound at the top. And when you go to turn it over to write on the back or the next page, it easily tears. So whether you need regular notebook paper or the bold line paper and either you have a hard time writing in a straight line like Lauren or <laughs> <laughs> Oh or worse, you think that's bad or not being able to really see where you're writing and writing on top of letters. Then you go back oh. to read it and you're like What did I write? So they have what is called a full page writing guide. And these are usually a plastic, like I mean, like a, a plastic sheet you can put on top of the paper. And there's 
cut out sections of where you would write on the page. So they have this for regular notebook paper and they also have this for the bold line paper, which I didn't know existed and I'm totally going to purchase because even if I'm writing under a magnifier, I still cannot seem to write in a straight line. So another essential thing that any reader or writer could have in their arsenal is a dictionary and a thesaurus. Now for these, I had to search Amazon to find, but I was really excited to find a large print dictionary as well as a large print thesaurus. Really? Yeah, I am notorious for going to Google and like looking up thesaurus two words when writing poetry. So this would be really cool to have in my bag that I could just pull out and rip it out. Rip it. <sighs> to rummage through it and look for the word that I need to know for it and then you're set. So the last two items on the list are things that I originally didn't think would go in the kit but after brainstorming it with Nicole, it made a lot of sense. So the first item is a lap desk. And I always associate these with a tablet or a laptop. I didn't really think of it as an unconventional way to use it to write, especially if you want to go outside. Um, I guess most people are used to like, if they're writing in a notebook, they just lean against yourself or use another book to write on that. But I think a laptop would make sure that you have a flat level place to write on. I mean, especially in the spring when it's nice outside, mm -hmm. you can just find like a nice tree to sit against and write. I actually really like that idea. <laughs> There's another writing video right there. So if you guys didn't notice about me, I'm not a very organized person. I'm working on improving that. I and know you are. Nicole's organized, so I just <laughs> try to implement what I learned from her. Oh. So she suggested that if you're working on different type of projects, or even if you have a series Bible, to have different colored folders. And I like the idea of taking this a step further and like, finding stickers of things that you like and having that associated with the different colors too. Cause I mean, sometimes if you have a color blindness and you pick out colors of folders that are similar, unaware, like unaware that they're similar and you do it, the stickers will also help different what folder is which. So you can just look at it at a glance and say, okay, that's folder for poems, that folder for short stories and that one for fanfic. Yeah, I've been writing fanfic in a while. I need to get back to that. <laughs> and yeah, then, I need to finish mine. And then if each each one has a different sticker too, that way you don't have to go inside and dig through it to see what's in it. You just know just by looking at it. So a bonus item is something that I have acquired most recently as I'm getting a desk. <laughs> it's not coming until after Christmas, so sad face, but. That should be a fun project. An item that you can consider if your lighting isn't the best or if your vision is less in dim lighting is a adjustable lighting for your desk. And it's cool to have a clamp so you can clamp it at the, like, the corner of your desk so it doesn't take up too much space. And the one I'm getting, which I will leave a link for, has three, three adjustable light settings. So it's like dim, medium, and super bright. I'll probably use super bright. Warning, please, in the future. Well, we'll see how bright it actually is. Like, who knows? Like, their dim could be, like, the lighting in here. So if that's the case, then... My eyes! <laughs> I do, I'm so sorry! Shh! Why is Nikki bursting in the flame? Hey! <laughs> I imagine my eye sense is light. I know. So I hope this kit served you guys well. I hope the video was helpful. Um, as I was telling Nicole, I noticed that there were a couple 
video similar to this in the beginning of November when NaNoWriMo was starting. So, not boo, it's a good way to challenge yourself. And be burnt out. Touche. But, leave a comment down below letting me know if you are considering any of the items I listed or all of them. And don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe and ring the and the bell icon for future videos and live streams. And tomorrow, Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, Nicole and I will be doing a segment on our podcast and the YouTube channel is called Enchanting Tales Podcast. Yay, Disney! Yeah, you're gonna be going over to Disney. There's gonna be some fun debates. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!